Hello everybody, I'm Bobby and today I'm going to be talking about fake counterfeit S23 Ultra Samsung phones and how to spot them. You, know, you might buy one of these on the internet or marketplace or somewhere else and think you're getting a real Samsung. Well, I'm going to show you the difference between a real Samsung S23 Ultra and a fake counterfeit one. So if you don't already own a S23 Ultra, a Samsung S23 Ultra, it's going to be really hard for you to determine whether the phone is going to be fake or counterfeit because there's a lot of similarities in the boxes and the overall look of the phone. But there are some differences, and we're going to discuss that right now, what the differences are in the boxes. So to begin with, on the fake S23 Ultra, if you look at the box, the letters are like a metallic silver. And... The box is more of a faded black, whereas on the real, authentic S23 Ultra, the letters are, are white on the bottom of the box, and the box is a more vivid color. Also, on the real S23 Ultra, you'll see these two half-moon-shaped clear seals that are on the back of the box, and on the counterfeit one, we don't have those. It's like the sticker that's on the end wraps over the bottom of it and it comes onto the bottom like that also there's a whole lot more information on the authentic one compared to the one that's a counterfeit one i'm going to open in the boxes let's see what the differences are here you can see that the authentic one, the real one, is, has a shine to that part right there. And this one right here on the fake one is this cheap cardboard. So there are some, some differences in the boxes and on the inside of the boxes that you can tell. Well, you can tell it that way too. So comparing the S Pen on the fake S23 Ultra... You're going to see that the, on the way the S Pen is lined up, on the fake one, it's more towards the back, and it's not in a central location. You see that? Whereas the one that's authentic, the S Pen is located in a central location. It's like that. See, see that's a, it's centrally located in the center, whereas the one that's the fake one is towards the back. And also... The one that's fake is a little bit smaller. Also, the screens on the two phones are different. There's a more rounded area on the side of the screen of the fake phone. And the real one has a more square appearance on the side like that. And also, you can tell by the weight, too, if you're holding both phones in your hand. The fake phone is actually heavier than the real S23 Ultra. Now, taking a look at the cameras... The, the cameras on this S23 Ultra, the one that's real, actually has a Pelican screen cover, lens covers on it. So that's why it looks like the lenses are a little bit raised on this one. But if they were off, you'd still be able to tell the difference because this camera right here on this fake phone, let me see if I can zoom this in. If you look at it, it's blue and it's nothing in there. You see the, see the difference? See the, the cameras? Look at the difference between that camera, that's a fake camera on the fake phone, and this is what the camera on the real phone looks like. See that? That's a real camera on that phone, and this is a cheap camera on the fake phone. Also, it's probably only got like one camera on it that works, because a lot of the fakes it just has one real camera that works, and it's a cheap, cheesy camera that is nothing like the one that's on the actual real S23 Ultra. Notice that the one that's on the real one is not blue, but the one that's on the fake one is blue. So that's a that's a telltale sign right there on the on between the fake one and the real one. All right. So now taking a look at the bottom of the phone. This is a real S23 Ultra. Notice that that little hole has like a little square print around it. That's what it looks like. It will have that little square print around the real one. If you look at the fake phone, the fake S23 Ultra, it doesn't have that little square. It's just a little hole. All right. 
and let's take a look at the um, the SIM card slot. If you look at the fake one, the SIM card slot is a little raised compared to the one on the real S23. That's I like it. it's smooth and it's flush looking. See how smooth and flush that looks compared to the fake one. Put them both up to you so end to end you can see the differences. See that? See the two holes on the bottom of the real one at the top where it's got the little square pieces around it? And see the difference in the way that the, uh, the S pens are lined up? Oh, the top one is more central. All right, let's take a look at the S pens on the fake one and the real one. Now I'm going to compare the S pen between the S23 Ultra fake phone on the left and the real one on the right. Pull both the S pens out of the two phones. Automatically, I can feel a difference. The one from the fake phone is lightweight and cheap plastic, and the one from the real phone is heavier. And you can see the difference. See the tip of the fake one, the S pen on the fake phone. It's fat and plastic and cheap, whereas the one on the real phone is more of a pointed look like that. Now let's compare the buttons on the sides of the two phones. This is the real one on the top and this is the fake one on the bottom. Let's take a look at the differences between those. Now the buttons all look about the same. They're in the same places and everything, so it's kind of hard to tell the differences. But there is a little bit of a slight difference, whereas the one that's fake is slightly more raised and not as flush as the one because it's not an authentic Samsung screen on this fake S23. Another difference that you'll notice between the real phone on the right and the fake one on the left is on the back of the phone. If you look at the real phone, it has the IMEI number right underneath the word Samsung. And on the fake phone, it just says Samsung. It doesn't have the IMEI number on the back. Another difference between the real phone and the fake phone is that everything on the real phone has a nice smooth movement when you're moving from place to place and we're going to go into about phone and then we're going to go down here and we're going to look at the differences between see how this one looks when you go to about phone it's got a picture of the phone on the top like that now with this fake phone when you open the set see how everything is all jumpy and the movements and everything when when, you, when you're moving things up and down it's all blurry and everything it's because the processor in this phone is a cheap processor it doesn't have a fluid movement like the real one so i'm going to go down here and go into about phone on this one and this is your, your fake phone and you're going to look out here it says it doesn't have the picture of that phone at the top see the difference when you go between the real phone and you go into the about phone and the settings there's a picture of the phone on this one on the real one and it's not one on this one right so that's another difference so now when you push on the battery part where it says about phone on the fake one this is what you get when you go on the real phone and you click on battery it tells you everything about the battery and everything so the menus are different you can tell the difference here we're going to change here now and go back and we're going to see software information it's software information on here it doesn't have it on the um on this one you're going to click storage on this one and let's go to the uh storage on this one This one says on the fake phone, it says it's 436 megabytes used of 512 megabytes, but it doesn't even have a fraction of that. Again, see the differences? This one says, and in, in storage, it says that this is the real phone. It says that there's 22% used, and it's got all this information down here about 
your phone and your storage and everything and what it's being used for where it's this fake phone it looks like that when you click on storage see the difference and see how that just changed just from touching it just from touching the tops and stuff of the phone and everything so there's a big difference between this phone and the real phone when you're clicking on all the different menus they're completely different All right, so let's take a look at the difference between the two cameras. As you can see, the real phone that's on the right, the real S23 Ultra on the right, and the fake one on the left. On this one, I can scale out down to that, and I can go in close, and I can get detail. This one, it doesn't scale out like the other one. It goes to that. Now let's get back down to just one. Now look at the difference. Look at the difference in the clarity, and see how... I have the one on the left is like blurry. Look. See how the how blurry that is when you're moving it around? Now look at the real one when you're turning it around. Look at the difference. Because the S23 and Ultra is known for a superb, awesome camera. And this camera right here, and you can zoom up, up on things and everything else. And it, the colors pop and everything. And it has a very quick focus rate on it. This fake phone, on the other hand, look at that. You see the difference? Yeah, let's zoom up on that. See, there's no detail, and it has a very slow focus rate. The time it takes for it to focus on it and, and everything is just uh, like probably like the cheapest camera you can get whatever parts they can find to put on it see the difference between this is the real one so let's look at something that's got color a little color to it all right all right look at that See it having a hard time focusing on the colors and how blurry and everything that is. This is a real one. Look at that. See the detail? And see see how it focuses in on it? Look, I can go I can look at that. See the difference? Let's see if we can get them both together up side by side. The fake one's on the bottom, the camera fit phone's on the bottom, and the, the real one's on the top. The, the, the camera on the fake phone doesn't have any features, any of the extra features or anything that the, that the real one does. And the colors, and the, it's just everything, it's just like a real cheap camera on the fake phone. So comparing on the fake phone, the serial number and the IMEI slots one and two. The IMEIs on the box are the same as what it says on the phone, but the serial number on the box is different than the one that's on the screen. I hope this video has been helpful on how to spot a fake counterfeit Samsung S23 Ultra. So just be careful if you're buying a phone online, if you're getting one online and it looks like it's too good to be true or anything. Because they even, they even come like this fake phone right here. It came in the box all sealed up in plastic and everything like that. So it looks legitimate if you don't know what you're looking for. If you, don't be, if you can't tell the differences or you don't know the differences between what it's supposed to be and what it's not supposed to be. You can get taken and you can lose a lot of money because I mean at like a thousand dollars a pop for these phones and stuff It's easier for somebody to scam you out of that money So I would recommend that if you're gonna buy a phone online and you're buying it from an individual or a different or a certain individual seller that you ask them to actually take the phone out of the box and verify that it's not a counterfeit phone When you're purchasing it so that you know that you're getting a real phone and you don't get scammed all right, so y'all have a nice day, and good luck buying your S23 Ultras, and I hope that you don't come across any counterfeit ones like that one right there.